Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from The Gay Guy Plays, and today we're gonna have a bit of a talk. Now, I've been hearing a lot of things about player burnout, and honestly, while I will freely admit that Warframe can be a bit grindy, the fact is, avoiding burnout is just as much the individual player's responsibility as it is the games to keep them interested. From work, maintaining long-term relationships, to hitting the gym, anything you do on a daily basis can become quite monotonous if you let it. As you know, I do not put up with whiners, and I have heard so many people pass blame without taking a look at the things that they can do to have the most fun in game. So today on the hit list, we're targeting the top 5 ways to combat player burnout. At number 5, it's all about vanity. From changing colors to trying on different accessories, sometimes all you need is a bit of a break from combat to get your frame slipped into something sexy and new. I honestly can't count how many missions I rushed through just to see how an energy color would turn out, or how many hours I've spent attempting to find the exact right gold to match the trimming on a prime to a non-prime. And honestly, there's a bit of excitement to jump into a mission when you've got the right accessories with the right weapons on the right frame. So whether you're attempting to turn Loki into a Shogun Samurai, Hydroid into a master seaman, or Valkyr into the Warframe version of Catwoman, a new coat of paint can be quite refreshing. Now for those of you who are a tad bit more serious, number 4 is all about finding alternate ways to achieve your objectives. I mean let's face it, when it comes to grinding experience and reputation, we've seen a lot of this. And I personally do a little bit of this. But the fact is, there are tons of other ways to get your grind on. And if neither of these options seem like very much fun to you, then it's your responsibility to switch it up. You can gain good chunks of experience from mission types other than interception, and there are a bevy of void missions that will get you blueprints for Ducat fodder. Rather than farming bosses for resources, get a group of clanmates to do a defense or survival. Hell, even switch up your warframes and play around with different synergies. The fact is, if you feel like the game is repetitive and monotonous, it's not because the options aren't there, it's more likely because you choose to play the same frames in the same mission types. Speaking of broadening your horizons, number 3, changing your social situation can be a complete game changer. The fact is, sometimes the people you play with can be more important than the game itself. It's just like sex. If you're participating with someone who's super into it, you're gonna have more fun than with someone who just lays there like an old grump and complains about the grind, or how everything takes too long, or how the end game just feels like an underwhelming climax. Oh yes, the sex parallels are real. The fact is surrounding yourself with tired negative attitudes more often than not lead to more negativity, and aside from that, spending some time with someone new can be fun. The fact is, I spent a week rambling about how I kept meeting all these Australian guys and kept telling these Aussies how I felt like the universe was trying to tell me something, only to find out that my region was set to Oceana servers. <laughs> Regardless of the cringeworthy facepalm it resulted in, it was a fun, fun week. Now if you're looking for more fun, number 2, turning boring things into an event is probably one of my favorite anti-burnout tips. Stocked up on keys and ready to challenge R and Jesus for that elusive Loki Prime part? Why not grab a bunch of new and old friends and have a pizza Prime party? Set aside a weekend and prep yourself for some day drinking. Order in some pizza and take half shots for every mission that doesn't result in a Prime part your party needed. Hunting for hunter sigils or dying to get some dies? Why not create a kill the killer party where your group goes off to piss off the stalker and you compete to see who can get the last blow? Of course shots are involved in this one as well, so all of you underage kids I'm sorry but you'll have to wait a few years to do this one. Now my last tip may be a bit controversial but honestly it's the one thing that keeps me from burning out. After over 1700 hours of playing Warframe there is no doubt in my mind the number one tip would have to be. Play Arcwing! Arcwing is the best! Oh my god, it's so good! Do it now! I'm kidding, of course. Personally, I love Arcwing, but I know that there are some folks out there that aren't the biggest fans. So all jokes aside, my number one tip would have to be... Log out. The fact is, regardless of what it is, doing something over and over and over again is always going to lead to burnout. There isn't a game on the market that you could play every single day of your life for hours and hours on end and not feel a little burnt out. Whether it's relationships, friendships, work, and even having the same kind of food repeatedly can leave you feeling a bit tired of it all. In fitness, there's even something called muscle confusion where you need to vary your workout style in order to get the best results. Even our physical bodies can burn out on repetition. It's so easy for us to blame the game for something that we need to take responsibility for ourselves. So whether it's taking a break and playing a different game, or calling up a friend to go have lunch, or taking some time to make some sweet, sweet love, sometimes the best option is just to log out.
So thank you all for watching another episode of The Hit List. If you didn't catch it, I'll toss up my previous hit list on the top 5 frames of 2014, as well as the last episode of Invite Only. Now if you guys have any of your own tips to prevent player burnout, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to do all the things that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these, and as always, stay tuned for more than just the tip, here at A Gay Guy Plays. Seriously though, you can be logged out for 9 days before your Kubro dies. That's a lot of time. Go do something with your life. Go! I'm watching you.